emails were left high and dry by Google when they killed yet another app and this one hurt me personally the most and the app is called Inbox by Gmail. A bunch of clones popped up back then but they weren't anywhere close to what Inbox had to offer. Until today, we got a couple of options. Let's look at Shortwave, which is very new and currently in beta for Android, but also has a web version, which is exactly what I was used to when using Inbox. You can join the Android beta by joining a Google group, which is linked in the description below. Then it will give you a link to download from the Play Store you can install it from there and sign in using Gmail. And there you have it. This interface might look familiar to you. You can have conversations like so, or you can have a smart inbox and I don't need these emails. Just click this button up here and bang, all done. Simple as that. Does it have dark mode? Let's check it. Yeah, it doesn't have dark mode at the moment, but it should be coming pretty soon. Swipe left to snooze, swipe right to mark as done. Very similar to inbox. And that's it so far. Dark mode is the only gripe for me right now with this app. But there is one more catch with this. So you only get last 90 days worth of your email for searching and viewing, which might be okay for most people as you can always search older emails using the Gmail app, but they want money for more features. Okay, so it's a good secondary app in my opinion. It's not as good as the Inbox by Gmail, which was my primary email app, but yeah, if you want to be quickly action your emails in like a to-do list fashion, this is the way to go. But wait, there's more. I also recommend using Spark which I have been using for about a year now. Check it out here. It's very similar, but button philosophy is a little different. So yeah, um, swipe right for archive, left to delete, which is customizable. The button labels are traditional. So instead of done, you would see the archive button or delete button. But if you can get past all of that, this is a solid email app. Right now, Spark has better interface than Gmail and shortwave Android apps but it doesn't have a desktop app like Shortwave does or Gmail does. Shortwave Android app is just a web wrapper so it does feel a little bit laggy but do keep in mind that it's still in early access. I think it will be way more useful in a desktop environment such as Chrome or Safari. So to conclude, I use Spark on mobile for now and prefer the inbox style interface on my PC using the Shortwave web app. And I recommend that combo for most people if you like to stay on top of your emails and stop them from piling up in your inbox. Anyway guys, smash that like button if you learn something new and consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell if you want to watch more content like this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.